What's up, dude and dudettes? This is Froggy2K9, and, uh, I just got back from Holiday. Now, the place where I went, I did not have internet, so I couldn't upload, and I apologize for that. It's been quite a while since I've uploaded, and, uh, obviously my apologies. Not really much I can do about it. But, what I can do is tell you a little bit about what happened and tell you about a video that's coming up in the future. My dad has actually recorded some horse riding that I did and I'm going to be receiving those whenever he can be bothered to send me the email so obviously you guys will hear about that and you guys get to see me horse riding how bad I am or you know I wouldn't say I wouldn't say I'm a bad horse rider I'd just say you know the horse did not want to listen to me. No matter what I did, no matter how hard I tried, the horse just did not want to listen. It's let me just give you an example. I I I put myself in a position where I was ready to maneuver to the left. I you know did the normal stuff, pulled the reins, pushed my knee in, and the horse just simply refused. I had its head almost at a, like a 90 degree angle, in fact it was over a 90 degree angle turned towards me and it was still moving in a straight line, it just would not turn, uh, oh I got so pissed off with that horse, it's, she don't want to listen, she don't want to listen, god, well it's been such a long time since I rode her, so got to admit, you know, she hasn't been Hasn't been the best of times, and uh, probably got to get used to used to it again. You know, it's been such a long time since I rode, so perhaps it is my fault. Perhaps it's not. I don't know. So there we go. That's that. Anyway, um, I went to see Ted. Oh, Ted's awesome. Ted is a really, really great film. I really highly suggest you go watch Ted. Um, I went to the beach quite a lot. Yeah. You know, it was quite sunny. It was quite sunny most of the time I was down there. You know, it was only a few rainy days, and even then, you know, I found some stuff to do. I watched the new uh, Johnny English Re Reborn, I think it's called. You know, I watched that. That's funny as hell. I love that actor. The, you know, Miss, the actor who plays Mr. Bean. Can't remember his name, but he's the actor who plays Mr. Bean. He is so damn funny. And uh, what you're watching now, I'm not actually watching it because my preview has frozen. So. Yeah, it's some Left 4 Dead I played. Um, finally finished all of the experts, so that's experts and um, the expert realism as well. This is the expert realism, and uh, we've just finished it. So um, you won't see the finish in this. You'll actually see the fail. And I just forgot to restart the recording, but I have got the achievement now, so that's a good thing. You know, plus one for the home team. Win-win situation. And all that jazz. Um, yeah. So, just a few things. Um, went out for a celebration dinner because I passed my driving test. So, Dad took took us out and had a meal on him. Yeah, I rake up the bill. I really do sometimes. You know, I am a fat bastard sometimes. And I can't help it, but it was uh, his idea, so I suppose that's a good thing. Anyway, <clears throat> um, he actually got Fallout 3 for the PS3, and uh, I had a little go of that, so I've had a little go of Fallout 3 on the PS3. I, I, thought, I tried it on the Xbox, and there's no difference between the Xbox and the PS3 version, it's just uh, because I seem to have a little more free time in the afternoons over there, like um, during, uh, I'd say, about 10 o'clock onwards, really, there's nothing to do, so I decided, why not jump on Fallout 3, and I ended up playing it till like 1 in the morning, and uh, having a lot of fun with it, actually, and when you got no internet, because dad's internet is so bad it's pointless playing online games because you lose the connection every 30-40 seconds, so no internet I'm afraid. That's why I can't upload, because the connection fails every 30 or 40 seconds. It's, it's ridiculous. It really is a bad internet. The provider is, uh, the provider is actually um, on the way out. They're, they're closing down. I can't remember the name of them, but they're, uh, they're a business that's closing down. 
and um, yeah, they they just completely, really, royally screwing over every one of their customers. It really is irritating. Ugh. But because they're on their way out, the contracts are slowly becoming null and void. And once my dad's contract becomes null and void, he can finally switch to a better company. Um, they keep telling him, it's the modem, it's the modem, it's the modem. How can five or six modems fail? You know, how can they be bad modems? You know, I'm on Sky, and I've had one modem since I joined Sky, and it's been perfect. Absolutely perfect. I've heard of one or two people have their modems actually failing, you know, and it was only one modem sometimes, and usually it was during a, like a power spike or a power cut, the modem would fail. So, I don't understand that with certain companies, but, you know, shit happens. Um... I was talking to my dad, and maybe there's a possibility of the next time I go down, um, he might be getting a, a sea, sea canoe, I think it's called, sea canoe, yeah, and, uh, yeah, or a, or a boat of some sort, some small boat, like a rib or something like that, it's just something simple like that, and that will be quite fun, you know, just thinking about it, you know, it'll be quite fun. I enjoy boats and, well, I enjoy boats except for the fact that I get seasick and, uh, it's kind of confusing. I joined Sea Cadets, yet I get seasick, yeah. Hmm. Uh, I, I could easily have a future in the Merchant Navy and I get seasick, but, uh, that's not my plans, that's not my plans. Anyway, since I come back, I will be starting college soon and, uh, hopefully I will get into college now and... I'm not sure what's happening, it is really confusing me, it really is. Uh, so I've applied for a course and it's like, yeah, no, we don't know, this is happening, that's not happening, this is happening, it's like, N -n -n -n. so yes or no? Nyeh. 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 give me a straight answer, but no, they won't, so I have no idea whether I'm getting on this course or not, and... That that's a good luck. That's a good luck for the future, man. Good luck. <laughs> um, set in stone, definitely not. Definitely not. So I'm not sure what to go on here. Uh, what could, what could I say? Um, got a couple of new games. Uh, my dad got me. I got I got the Tom Clancy collection for uh, for PC. It's um, a 25 year collection. I got Hawks. I got Ghost Recon, Splinter Cell, um, Rainbow Six Vegas, and End War. I've played End War on the console. I loved it. It was a really good game. Played Hawks on the console. Loved it. Really good game. Didn't get to finish Hawks. I borrowed it off someone. So hopefully I can get to play Hawks some more. Update on my PC, I will be building it, I've just gotten the stuff in from, um, I actually got it while I was down my dad's, I've got the stuff in to fix a couple of old Xboxes so I can sell those, maybe get a bit of cash for it. Uh, i find some other things around here I can sell, just stupid things that are just like raking a couple of pounds. Every little helps, every little helps. Um, Still nothing set in stone for what I'm going to get for it. I've seen some good cases, I've seen some bad cases, I've seen some really good cheap cases. But, I'm not sure. I want to start with the case, because I don't know where to go from there. Um, it's basically, I'm just going to get a standard ATX anyway. Um, yeah, a mini ATX would fit in a standard ATX anyway, and um, it's only like the XL ATX that doesn't really. But those can be like any standard, and well, they're not standard. Why would I say standard? They they can be any size and shape and form they want to be. It's just if you're going to get an extra large ATX, you, you know, you really better research on that that specific model to find out what cases it fits in. Otherwise, you're just going to be stuck. You really are, and there's going to be nothing you can do. And you'll be like, well, spent like three hundred pound on a motherboard. And it doesn't fit in my case. Well, shucks you. Sucks for you. So, 
I'm just going to get a standard ATX because I have no reason to go any bigger. I'm probably going to go with a modern i5 or i7, one of the uh, Ivy Bridge series, because uh, that's the latest out at the moment. I'm not, I'm not uh, into the 2011 socket. It probably most likely be 1155 socket because there's no reason to go with the 2011 socket. And one, there's only the Sandy Bridge on it at the moment, and I can see the comments now. If you've actually listened on, you'll know that I'm saying the 2011 is at the moment it's a uh, Sandy Bridge only, but in 2013, which is most likely when I'll probably be getting to building my computer, there is... Um, there is about a 50-50 uh, a chance that the Ivy Bridge 2011 CPU will come out because uh, they've, um, they've sort of confirmed and not confirmed it. It's, it's floating around the idea that the next Extreme Edition CPU from, uh, from Intel will be the 2011 socket and it will be Ivy Bridge. So naturally you assume it's just going to be like an i7. Generally, it's a, it's a cut down Xeon is um, is generally what the i7 series is. It's just a cut down Xeon, and um, yeah. So, anyways, any who's is there any more to talk about? I don't think there is much more to talk about, and uh, I'm not sure how much more gameplay I have left to go. So, um. Uh, Got a few minutes, a few minutes left, so a few things to talk about. I've been out, I've been out of the loop for a little while, so any YouTube drama or anything that's come up, I don't know. I'm, I'm going back through, uh, through my subscribers to see what videos they've made recently and um, what videos they made in the past. See if there's any new, new chit chat going on, anything interesting, any new games that have, uh, that have sparked anyone's interest because uh, there's there's so many so many things out there that change in just a small amount of time you know I've been gone for two weeks and I'm completely out of the loop I don't know what's going on I haven't seen I haven't seen a lot of videos so I've really got to get back into the swing of things and to tell you the truth I don't give a bob on what happens and I'm going to continue to do what I do whether or not anyone else does what they do. So this will be the first video to upload since the two weeks. And after that I will have several videos for you. Uh, I'll probably be uploading a couple a day and uh, I'll be rendering overnight because I've got a few a few raw videos that I need to edit and then render. And then I can upload those as well because there's there's a lot of videos here. I also need to get 1.3 Minecraft multiplayer episodes started, which is another thing I've got to find some people to join me in uh, in the beginning of the new season. I suppose I could call it a season, yeah. I'll just um, yeah, I'll probably call it a season, something like that. Yeah, season two. Du -du -du -du. Anyway, I think that's this is coming up to the end of the gameplay now, so see you guys later, and have a good time. Neat, neat, neat.